Hello. In this Java tutorial, we're going to learn about the binary search. Before watching this video, you're going to want to have a good understanding of if, else if, and else. For more information on that topic, please click on the link to the video in the upper right hand corner of this screen. Some important facts to know. First, binary searches only work on a sorted list. This is different than a linear search that we learned previously. A binary search will cut the list in half after every iteration in which it doesn't find its target. Finally, except in unusual circumstances, a binary search won't need to check all entries. Because the binary search cuts the list in half every time it doesn't find its target, for large lists it can run much faster than a linear search. Let's look at some code for a binary search. This block of code is adapted from the course description for AP Computer Science A. So we see we have a left and a right variable, and that keeps track of what portion of the array we're looking at. We look at a smaller and smaller portion of the array every time we don't find our target. This calculates the middle. We always look at the middle in between the area of the array that we're looking at. This line of code checks if the target, the number we are looking for, is less than the middle of the list we are looking at. This line of code checks if the target is greater than the item we are currently looking at. And this else is if we found the exact match of the target. The else block of code returns the index where our target is located. If we go through this while loop and check out the entire list and don't find our target, we return negative 1. That signals that the target value is not located in our array. Let's start tracing this out. For our purposes, we're going to assume our list parameter equals this one-dimensional array of size 5, and our target parameter equals 3. So we're looking for the number 3 in this array. It doesn't exist, so we know we are going to end up returning negative 1. On our first line of code, we're going to set our left value to 0, because we're going to be searching starting from our leftmost area, and our rightmost area we're going to set to 1 minus the list length, because we're going to end our search at the end of this array. The left and right will come closer together until we either find the value or they switch sides. Here we're checking to make sure left is either to the left or on top of right. If the left and the right switch sides, we know we've checked the entire area of our list where our target could be, and we know it must not be there. Next, we're going to calculate the value in the middle of the left and the right arrow. So we're going to say left plus right, which is 0 plus 4, divided by 2, which is 2. So this is the index we're going to look at. Now we're going to check if our target, the value we're looking for, which is 3, is that less than list index middle. Index middle is 2, so we're going to go 0, 1, 2. So we're checking is the number 3 less than the number 4. That is true. So we're going to set right equal to middle minus 1. So now right equals 1. And this is our left and right arrow. So we're only going to be looking at the part of the array that's between inclusive the left and the right arrow. Next, we're going to go back up to the top of the while loop is left less than or equal to right. Left is less than or equal to right. So we're going to set the middle again. 0 plus 1 divided by 2. Now technically this is 1 half. However, since we're dealing with int division because left and right and 2 are all ints, we're going to take everything off after the decimal point. So we round it down to 0. So middle is 0. So now we're going to check, is our target 3 less than list index 0? Is 3 less than 1? That's false. So we're going to go down to the else if. Now we're going to check, is target greater than list index middle? 
3 is greater than 1, so now we're going to set left equal to middle plus 1. So now we have the left and the right arrow right on top of each other. The only part of the list we're looking at is this index right here. So now we go back up to the top. Left is still less than or equal to right. We set middle equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 2, so middle is 1. We're checking if target 3 is less than list index middle. 3 is not less than 2. So now we check is target 3 greater than 2. It is. So we set left equal to middle plus 1. Now we can see these have switched over. And we don't have any more area of the list to look at. So now we check while left is less than or equal to right. This is a false statement because left is not less than or equal to right. So we terminate the while loop. This means we know that the target 3 is nowhere on this list because there's nowhere else to look. And we return negative 1 to signal that our target is not on the list. To see the next video in this curriculum, please click on the link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. If you'd like to know more about int versus double division and how rounding happens, please click on the link in the upper right-hand corner of this screen.